The final question, question 9. Solve for x between 0 and 360 sine of x minus 20 is 1 over root 2. Well, we should know that sine the minus 1 of 1 over root 2 is 45 degrees, but if you don't know that, you can certainly work it out on a calculator. So let's start by saying sine the minus 1, 1 over root 2 is equal to 45 degrees. However, because we're looking between 0 and 360, there'll be more than one answer. And to get all the answers, we look at a cast diagram, or some people call it an all sin tan cos diagram. And here we mark on 0 degrees, then come in anti-clockwise. In the first quadrant, all the three ratios, sine, tan, and cos, are positive. In the second quadrant, sine is positive. In the third one, tan, and in the fourth one, cosine. So CAST, cast diagram. Now, if sine is going to be positive, 1 over root 2 being positive, the two quadrants we're interested in is this one and this one. Those are the two quadrants where sine is positive. And the 45 degrees we mark on with the horizontal axis. And that will give us all the answers between 0 and 360. That's the first one, 45 degrees. And the second one is that angle there, always measuring from naught, anti-clockwise. So that's 180 minus 45, that 45 there, so it'll be 135. But that's not x, that's x minus 20. So we can say x minus 20 is equal to either 45 degrees or 135 degrees which means that x, taking the minus 20 the other side, x will be 65 degrees or 155 degrees. Just adding on the 20 to both these answers here. And that completes that part of the question. Part b, solve cos 3x equals minus a half. Now, we want x between 0 and 360. But if x is going to go between 0 and 360, 3x will go between 0 and 3 times 360, which will be 1080 degrees. So we'll have to look three times around the cast diagram to make sure we find all the answers. I'm going to begin by looking at cos to the minus 1, a half. So I'm ignoring the minus sign at the moment, and I know cos to the minus 1, a half is 60 degrees. Or again, I could find it on a calculator. So now we go to the cast diagram. Now, having got cos to the minus 1 half is 60 degrees, I know what angles to make with the horizontal. But to decide which quadrants I'm working in, I have to now recognise that cosine is negative. And the two quadrants where cosine is negative are that one, and that one. So I make these 60 degree angles with the horizontal in the quadrants where cosine is negative. And that gives me the answers. That angle there, measuring from naught, and that angle there. So I can say that 3x is equal to, that angle is 180 minus 60, which is 120. And 180 plus another 60 is 240. But as I said before, if we want x between 0 and 360, then we'll have to look at 3x in three revolutions around the cast diagram. So there's another four answers to come. Go around again. 360, if we go right round, 360 plus 120 is 480. And essentially what I'm doing is just adding 360 on the answers I've already got. So 360 plus 240 is 600 degrees. And then round again. So I've got 720 plus another 120. Or if you like, I can just add 360 onto here. And that will give me 
840. Add 360 onto here will give me 960. Now they're the values of 3x, which means that x is a third of each of these. So 120 divided by 3, 40 degrees. 240 divided by 3, 80 degrees. 480 divided by 3 will be 160 degrees. 600 divided by 3 will be 200 degrees. 840 divided by 3, well 3 goes into 8 twice, 2 left over, 3's into 24 is 8, so it's 280 degrees. And the last one, third of that will be 320 degrees. And that completes this exam paper.